So the maple world is big, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this world. There were three transcendents that govern life. Life, which is the world tree. We'll call her Alicia for short. Light, which is the white mage, the abandoned snow boy left to fight off yetis as a small bean. And time. We'll call her Rhine, because it almost rhymes with Rhine. So basically, the white mage is told he can't use light magic after working so hard to learn it in the first place. He secretly studies it anyways, because he's just angsty. He decides he wants to visit his darker side and become the black mage in the process. Kind of like my seventh grade phase. Because of his cooler new persona, he makes edgy friends who follow whatever he says, and they go to save the world together. To do this, he needs Ryan and Alicia's powers. Alicia hides, and Ryan's like, meh, it's harder to find my power, so I'll put it into this dude, who's actually these two, Alpha and Beta, huh. Meanwhile, in another universe, the High Flora, which are basically long-living elf people, take over Grandis, which has nothing to do with the Maple World. Then this one guy named Freud gathers six of his friends, and they fight the Black Mage, and the Black Mage is sealed, but all the heroes are cursed. Except for Freud. A bunch of years later, the curse all start waking up, and Evan becomes the Dragon Master. Then a ton of stuff happens. Alpha and Beta escape, explorers go exploring, knights go knighting, resistance goes resisting, Sengoku comes in, Grandis all gets connected to the Maple World somehow, and Nova joins in on that. Then the explorers make an oops and accidentally set the Black Mage free. After that mess, the Maplers decide to make an alliance, which includes all the Maplers from the Maple World and the other worlds connected. Then a whole bunch of stuff happens, and everybody gets together to kill the Black Mage, and then the Black Mage is killed. The end.